what's up guys? Now Cebu is well known to have a pool of multi-talented individuals who speak of dedication with a drive of excellence and of course discipline like no other. And because of that we take pride in our culture and in our people because we aim to be better at what we do. Now we all know that Cebuanos have a wide variety of hobbies and interests. And you know what? Sports is no exception. Hi, I'm Patrick Rizari and this is Action on Route. Today we're taking your sports fix to a whole new level. Now it doesn't matter if you're professional or just beginning to explore the sporting arena. We're here to do what we can and give you the adrenaline rush that you see. And that's what's jumpstarting this episode of Action on Route. Now today, our first stop is of course the triathlon. Now it is a three continuous and of course sequential endurance sporting events. The swim, the bike, and the run. So guys, stick around, stay tuned, and gear up. You guys are in for a sweet treat.
can imagine to be like you were The pain and the suffering that could make you All right, guys, so I'm here with, of course, our very special guest. We have Sir Boeing Rodriguez. He's been well known all over the Philippines and all over the world regarding about the sport of triathlon. He's have a very well reputation. Sir, good afternoon. Hi, good How are you? I'm okay. uh, please tell us more about, to speed things up, of course, through the sport of triathlon, can you tell us a little bit more about triathlon? Um, there was a triathlon boom already in Cebu uh, during the 1990s. Um, but now it's back uh, after. Well, probably because of last year's uh, Xterra mm. off-road triathlon. That's right, and yeah. yeah uh, last March, they had the second one. And um, last August 5, the, the Ironman. The Ironman, right. Yeah. Is there any way that you can, um, for, for beginners out there and for our viewers here who are interested in trying a triathlon, what, what is the first thing that you should try doing? Should it be the run first? Should it be the bike first? Should it be the swim first? Uh, usually, um, swimmers, they want to cross train. So sometimes after swimming, they go running or they go biking. Cyclists also, they want to uh, cross train. So what they do is they sometimes run on weekends. Right, okay. Like, uh, running also, you want to do something else, so you try swimming and cycling. And yeah, that's now, right. now, especially now, we have triathlon, so you you do three sports in in in, a, in one race. It really takes a little bit of uh, time. Um, you you go swimming in the mornings and in the afternoon you run, and on weekends you do your bike. Mm. You, you you go out and bike. Dili dapat judi ko ano ipa paspas yun ang mga disciplines no no you, no no you don't do the three disciplines in one day you try to do two or one in a day but you you do uh, the three disciplines in a week until you get used to and then you you graduate to Olympic distance and then probably after doing uh, a, 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 a me, medium distance race you, you do the half Ironman um, this this one is um, just right for triathlon, you okay. can see that. Um, I think it, it yeah. makes sense to tell that it, like when you're from the bike, you can you can take it down for the run. No, you can. You don't have to take this out, out when you run. Oh, okay. Um, you can swim with this, and mm. um, you can you bike with this, and you can run with it. Right. And it has pockets for like uh, energy bar. Right. Okay. And um, your energy gel. So this is it uh, to be able to do your transitions fast you have to wear something like this something efficient something fast yeah. and something at least convenient without yeah. for the run 
for the swim and the bike. Sir Boeing, thank you very much for, for everything and for your tips. Um, please invite our viewers and of course everybody else out there who's who's interested in trying out triathlon. Well, um, I hope to have another um, Super Tri Kids clinic this coming October, end of October at uh, Plantation Bay. Uh, most of the people are scared of uh, open sea swimming. But we have a lagoon there where, you know... At least it's controlled. Yeah, at least you can stand up if you're tired uh, and then go back swimming. So I hope uh, kids and those uh, newbies can, can join us this coming October. Well, thank you very much, Boy. In a short span of time, we were able to introduce ourselves to a world-class sport that has gradually penetrated the Philippines and is loved by Cebu. So if you guys are thinking about challenging yourselves, you know, challenging the status quo, I dare you. Better yet, I challenge you to go beyond your limits and try out a triathlon. I'm Patrick Rosari. See you guys next time for another episode right here on Action on Route.